take a trick, trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's Big a trick, trivia time. And we'll feel it all. All right. Hello. Welcome. Happy Monday, everybody. This is really bright. Mm -hmm. Now it's not bright enough. Oh, ah! <laughs> Look at that. Welcome, everybody. How you doing? Happy Monday. My name is Ollie with Big of Tricks Entertainment. Thanks for joining us for some online general knowledge trivia. I'm going to tell you all about this game here in just a moment before I dive into the details. As always, make sure that you've joined our online interactive game website. Just head over to online.vegatrix.com. It's going to ask you for a game code. Put in the code TRIX, T-R-I-C-K-S, T-R-I-C-K-S. Once you've done that, or if you clicked on the link on Facebook, either way, once you're at the game for tonight, you'll see a screen asking you for four pieces of information like this. Only the first one is required, where it says enter your nickname. So go ahead and put in whatever you want to go by in this competition. Second and third is the city and the state that you're playing from. If you're here in the United States or your city and your, your province or wherever you're at, let us know. We just like to see where people are joining us from. Uh, last but not least, if you have a Begatrix loyalty program number, go ahead and put that in there at the bottom. If you don't, no worries. You can sign up for free. Uh, you can find the details on our Facebook. Go ahead and click on Go, and you'll see this screen where it says the game will begin shortly that is the key that you are all set there's nothing else that you need to do so just hang tight i'll explain how the game works and we will dive into this here in just one moment before that let me jump back on the screen and say hello one more time to all you cool cats and kittens i can't stop looking at my shirt <laughs> it's funny it comes after. <laughs> yeah right um thanks for being here uh it's monday we're gonna play some general knowledge trivia we're going to have a lot of fun. I have a few announcements. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up. As I've been saying over the last few weeks and months, we do have a lot of in-person events up and running again. If you're anywhere in the western suburbs or even in the city of Chicago throughout the week, typically Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and on Sundays now, we have events all the time. Uh, if you want to play trivia or music bingo or some theme trivia, you can find all that information on our Facebook page on the events tab or more easily to search on our website, begatrix.com, uh, on the events calendar. So do check that out. We will be back every Monday, just like we are tonight, with online trivia. Additionally, one day this week, it's, uh, I'm guessing, either going to be Wednesday or Saturday. I'm going to do an additional game on the new Luna Park system. Um, they've expanded and actually reinvented the whole thing, so everything is an all-in-one experience now. You get to see me, you can hear music, and we play the entire game without needing two browsers, two windows. We don't even use uh, the same system that we'll be using tonight. Everything is all-in-one now, so we're going to give that a test run here in just a couple days. Keep an eye out for that event on Facebook. Now, before we go any further, uh, if you are anywhere in the Chicagoland area, I'm sure you know about the weather that came through last night. Uh, many, many people were affected, some more so than others. Uh, specifically, you can see this logo down here. I'm reversed. Uh, Skeleton Key Brewery was decimated. Uh, they're, they're brewing. They're hopeful that they can get some stuff out of there, but the building's been condemned. Uh, so uh, it's, it's yet to know what exactly is going to happen. I know this team, and they're going to pick things up. They're going to bounce back. But they could certainly use our help right now. There's a GoFundMe um, that's already been created. And last I checked, it's already almost at its original goal. So I'm hoping we can just blow right past that. I'm not asking for any tips, any donations tonight. There's only one link in the description of this video, and that's to the GoFundMe for Skeleton Key. So uh, if you're able, if you'd like to, please do consider sending a donation to them to help out that team. They're incredible. We've hosted events with them. We've drank their beer. We've hung out there at the tap room. They just recently uh, expanded the tap room a beautiful new space um and you know they are not the only ones that were affected last night but certainly one of the worst uh affected that i've seen so uh if you have it uh, available please do consider sending something their way uh to help them out right now but with that said we're gonna play some trivia uh so let me dive up into the corner 
Taco's here. <laughs> Pierre is here, but nobody wants to be on camera, I guess. Taco's laying by my feet. Pierre is, you can see his butt. He's roaming around. Gina's here with us. You can see her butt. <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah, but I'll stay on screen. So, welcome everybody. It's general knowledge trivia, questions about anything and everything. As always, first round tonight is multiple choice. I'll ask you a question. I'll give you four options to choose from. All you have to do is click either A, B, C, or D, whichever answer you believe is correct. If you're correct, you will earn up to 150 points towards your total score. But that score is based on how quickly you answer. So if you think you know the answer, lock it in as quickly as you can. But be careful because once you click an answer, you can't switch to a different answer. Uh, with that said, if you come to a question and you have no idea what the answer may be, you should click something because you never lose points even if you're wrong. Uh, as I've said, the questions are about anything and everything, all sorts of categories and all sorts of difficulty. We'll have some easy questions, we'll have some tough questions, and they're all mixed up tonight uh, to keep you on your toes. So with that said, I'm going to throw the first question up on the screen because this question is just for fun. This is our practice question as always. It is, what is the name of your host tonight today right now what is my name is my name shredder rocksteady bebop or ali what is the name of your host today you're clicking a b c or d whichever one you believe is the correct answer no points on the line for this one Oh, yeah, just since we've started trivia, that GoFundMe has just rocketed over the goal. So it's incredible. Good, good, good. All right. One person said Shredder. Three people said Rocksteady. Four people said Bebop. Seven people said Ali. Seven people were correct. Great job. This one wasn't worth any points, but they will be after this. Uh, I'm going to turn on the decreasing points. Lindsay Davis. Is Lindsay Davis here? She would have reminded me. Um, all right. Here we go. Question number two, the first real question of the evening. Which of these items would you not find on a plate of a traditional full English breakfast? If you're having a traditional English breakfast, which of these items would not be on that plate? Is it an English muffin, baked beans, grilled tomato, or sausage? Which of these would not typically be on a full English breakfast? Who's out here? Hey, Christiane. Hey, Sarah V. Welcome, Chris B. Happy belated. Maggie Wimp. How's that ankle? Hey, Emma. John J. Middleton Lens. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Steph. Hey, Control Rogue. Welcome, 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 everybody. All right, everybody's in. Uh, traditional full English breakfast. You would not have an English muffin. You would have baked beans, grilled tomato, sausage. You'd have some back bacon, as we've learned. Some back bacon. Uh, but no English muffin on that. So great job. 11 of you got that right. Question number three. What is the capital city of Bermuda? Tough geography right in the beginning. What is the capital city of Bermuda? Is it Bridgeton, Hamilton, Kingston, or Georgetown? Oh, we got movement on the dog front. Pierre. He doesn't usually get that bed because Taco takes it over during the day when we're in here. Look at him. He just melts. All right, everybody's in. Uh, three people said Bridgetown. Six people said Georgetown. Two people said Kingston. Seven people said Hamilton. Seven people were correct. Seventeen were correct. It's not <laughs> short. Shorts. No. Well done. Uh, question number four. Uh, airing on ABC in the early 90s, Doogie Howser, MD, starred which actor? As a genius teenage physician balancing work challenges and adolescence, Aww. like you do. Was it Freddie Prince Jr., Neil Patrick Harris, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, or David Hyde Pierce? Or Devin Sawa? 
Devin Sawa be on this list? If JTT's on the list, Devin Sawa's got to oh, yeah. be on the list. He has a very funny Instagram. I think you show me. He's Canadian. Canadian. Devin Sawa. Is Neil Patrick Harris? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like he would have been born in, like, Massachusetts. He is American. Oh! He's from New Mexico. Oh, that I didn't know. No, Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Wow, nobody missed it! Neil Patrick Harris is the correct answer. The 90s was full of people using their middle names to be famous. Yeah, good call. Uh, that's a double social, everybody. I even have the glass for it tonight. I should just write a little chew down here. Social, cheers. Yeah, no kidding, Maggie. I never realized that. Yeah. JTT. NPH. Question number five. Which of these classic novels later adapted to a major studio feature film was written while the author was still in high school? Which of these books came out while the author was still in high school? Is it The Fault in Our Stars, The House of the Spirits, Carrie, or The Outsiders? JTT went to Harvard, didn't he? Really? I do believe so. He left the scene because he wanted to go to school. Uh, yeah. Upon graduation, he enrolled in Harvard, where he studied philosophy and history, oh. spent his third year abroad at St. Andrews University in Scotland. Uh, in 2010, he graduated Columbia University School of General Studies. He's been a vegetarian for much of his life. Yeah. Ever since he was on The Lion King, learning to eat grubs. Oh, my God. Yeah, he probably traumatized him. He learned it from Timon and Pumbaa. Uh, all right, three people said The Fault in Our Stars. Three people said Carrie. Correct answer, S.E. Hinton wrote The Outsiders back in 1967, I believe. Uh, she was a teenager and went by S.E. Hinton because she was a woman, didn't want people to know because they wouldn't think that she could write such a good book. Uh, everybody's in. Okay. Suck it. Let's take our first look at the standings, everybody. I'll throw them up on the screen. I'll throw Pierre up on the screen, too. All right, here we go. Currently in first place, we have Emma. In second, a whole numero uno. In third, it's over Bananakin. Fourth is Steffi Star. Ah, ooh, werewolves in fifth. Mama Lands in sixth. Merk Merlin in seventh. We have Boo in eighth. Goes out with one of the Yankees in ninth. K and V in tenth. Taco's Party Person. I haven't seen that name in so long. In 11th, tied with voted least likely to win trivia. JMO in 13th. Cookie Catastrophe and Cookie Catastrophe. Nom, nom, nom. 14th and 15th. Butch Van Dyke and the family. Happy belated birthday, Butch Van Dyke. Hasera in 17th. Dave of Weston in 18th. And Stella in 19th. Great job, everybody. We're only four questions into this. So... Let's get going. Question number six of round number one. What is the only part of the human body that cannot repair itself in any way? It's the only part of the human body that cannot repair itself in any way. Is it your lungs, your heart, your teeth, or your brain? Oh, what a cute profile. All right, here we go. Everybody is in. Let's see. Two people said your lungs. Three people said your brain. Fourteen people said your teeth. Your teeth is the correct answer. They can't do anything to fix themselves. The brain doesn't regenerate like most of your body, but it can lay down scar tissue. Uh, so it does help itself to repair uh, and forgo future harm. Uh, but the teeth doing nothing for you. <laughs> Great job. 14 of you got it. Question number seven. Uh, for the college fans out there, what university in the United States is home to the only mascot that is officially licensed by Disney? What university is home to the only mascot officially licensed by Disney? Is it Baylor, the University of Arkansas, the University of Colorado, or the University of Oregon? Excuse me.
The power hobble to the bathroom. <laughs> wish they would grow back. Yeah. It, I wish teeth would fix themselves. Oh, yeah. Where's the research on that? How can I donate to that, too? Teeth fixing. All right, everybody's in. Uh, one person said Baylor. Four people said Colorado. I would never have known this if I hadn't come across it. Uh, the correct answer is University of Oregon. The Ducks uh, looking like Donald. I always, I know who they are, but I always get Donald and Daffy mixed up when I'm saying it. I know the difference in my head. I always, it's always a hesit I got to think. Uh, but great job. 13 of you got that right. Question number eight. Celebrity chef Curtis Stone. Opened a restaurant called Maud in Beverly Hills and another one called Gwen in Hollywood. But of what nationality is Curtis Stone? He's not from America, though he has many restaurants here now. Is he South African, Scottish, Australian, or Irish? Ooh, back on the accents. Mm -hmm. Back on the portable accents. There's only one way to do it. Mm-hmm. Drinking coffee can cut your risk of liver disease, a study shows. I know. Coffee's great for your liver. <laughs> While I was sipping it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. It makes sense. It probably stimulates detox. My 80-year-old grandma had brain surgery two weeks with kicking butt. That is incredible, Sarah. I'm glad to hear she's kicking butt. Well, I thought he was English. Uh, yeah, no, he's not English. Excuse me. Uh, originally, let's see. Uh, three people said South African. Six people said Scottish. Nine people said Australian, mate. One person said Irish. Uh, the correct answer, he's from Melbourne, Australia. Australia is the correct answer. Who's the... Jamie Oliver is the British one, right? Yes. Yeah, that's who I... And then who's the one that... Uh, is that who uh, Uncle Raja always gets on? Is it Jamie Oliver? Yeah. <laughs> uh, great job. Nine of you got that right. Question number nine. Which of the following options is not a criteria for making bourbon whiskey? So if you're making something classified as bourbon, it has to adhere to three of the following things. But which one of these does not matter when making bourbon? Is it using a grain mixture that is at least 51% corn, aging it in new charred oak containers, being produced in Kentucky, or bottled at 80 proof or more? Which of these does not matter if you're making bourbon whiskey? All right, everybody's in. Let's take a look. One person said using at least 51% corn. Seven people said using new charred oak containers. Nine people said being produced in Kentucky. Uh, four people said bottled at 80 proof or more. The correct answer here, it does not matter if it's produced in Kentucky. A lot of people think that. It does not need to be made in Bourbon County or in Kentucky. As long as it's made in the United States, it can be bourbon. Uh, but it does have to be bottled at 80 proof or more, so 40% alcohol or higher. Uh, it has to be at least 51% corn and aged in new charred oak containers. You can't reuse them. All right, question number 10. In the 1990 film Fight Club, starring Brad Pitt and Edward Norton, what was the eighth and final rule of Fight Club? Is it when someone yells stop, goes limp, Taps out, the fight is over. Only two guys to a fight. You have to fight on your first night or you don't talk about Fight Club. Japanese bourbons, which I don't know how to... Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know how they could use that word. What 
What were you saying? Sorry. Uh, never mind. All good. All right, everybody's in. The eighth and final rule. Uh, the first is that you don't talk about Fight Club. The eighth and final is you have to fight on your first night. You have to fight on your first night. Yeah, Christiane, I had the same feeling when I wrote this question. I was doing this, and I looked up all the rules, uh, and then I was like, I want to watch Fight Club again. Uh, but then I forgot to see if it was streaming anywhere. Um, all right. Let's take a look at the standing, see if anything has changed. Pierre has moved. That's a change. A nice comfy pad over there, too. All right, here we go. Currently in first place now, Emma, but not that far ahead of A-hole numero uno in second place. Goes out with one of the Yankees, is in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We'll get into the next set of questions here in just a moment. Fight Club is on Prime Video for free. We have that. Yes, we do. I think I had a Fight Club poster. I believe it. Fight Club. Yeah, it's free. Maybe we can watch it later. It took me a long time to realize, I guess not realize, but I didn't realize that that was Helena Bonham Carter. Oh, yeah. For a really long time. Fair. It's a very different role than I had ever seen her in. Yeah. All right. In case you're wondering, I googled Fight Club on Prime, and also Chick Fight is free. That came out in 2020, starring Bella Thorne, Malin Ackerman, and Alec Baldwin. If you want to watch Chick Fight, that's also free. Fight Club members only. Uh, it looks like a unofficial sequel to Fight Club, starring Sunil Shetty, Sohal Khan. Oh, this is a Bollywood film. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, your dad? <laughs> yeah, my dad's not in it. Zayed Khan Dino Morea, directed by Vikram Chopra. I love it. Anyway, I'm going down rabbit holes. Uh, I guess I should host this event I'm hosting. Here we go. Question number 11, my friends. Traditionally, the juice or nectar of what fruit is used to flavor the cocktail known as the Bellini? If you're having a Bellini, it is flavored with mm. which juice or nectar? Is it honeydew? Mango, beach, or orange. What's up, Kevin Flug? Long time no see. Uh, probably not here. Yeah, Christiane, I always forget that Canada and America have such different things on streaming. I don't know, even Netflix is so different. I've been watching um, Manifest. I just started it because it's being promoted heavily on Netflix. Uh, so I finally gave in and I started it and I've almost finished season one. It's okay. Nice little mystery thing. Weird sci-fi thing. Uh, one person each said honeydew and mango. Two people said orange. 17 people correctly said peach. Oh, I love a good And I said Bellini. Oh, your sister said Bellinis are better than mimosas. Oh, Seth, I agree. Disagree from a man who doesn't like peach. Question number 12. Okay. What company? You can go to Harry's Bar in Venice. That's where the original Bellini is. Oh, really? Uh, what company started by McDonald's originally sold convenience store products under the name TikTok Easy Shop? What company started by McDonald's, surprisingly, originally sold convenience store products under the name TikTok Easy Shop? Was it Enterprise, Trader Joe's, CVS, or Redbox? Oh, Sarah's on the Bellini train. Oh, yeah. Bellini. It's just they're more flavorful. Their mouthfeels. Christiane, you're completely right. I think that's the reason I, I really dove in because I loved Lost. Uh, and this does seem like a, it does have a Lost vibe. Uh, I am getting that. You, you put an, a word on I wasn't. I couldn't put a word to that. I, I felt like another show. And Lost is correct. Also, Maggie, get your mind out of the gutter. One person said Enterprise. Four people said Trader Joe's. Eight people said CVS. Nine people said 
Red Box. One person said Ronald's just got to make a living. Uh, the correct answer is Red Box. Red Box. Uh, TikTok Easy Shop. They had vending machines and then they, you know, uh, advanced there to doing DVDs. All right. Here we go. Question number 13. What magazine, what music magazine founded in 1967 was named after a Bob Dylan song featured political reporting by Hunter S. Thompson? Was it Circus, Spin, Cream, or Rolling Stone? <gasps> beep, beep, Richie. <laughs> nice. Thank you for getting it. Of course. That's a sewer, I know. Uh, Christy and guessed it just because of Ronald's hair. Oh, I, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's, that is how you trivia, you know? Things I'd do for a Big Mac. Uh, three people said spin. 19 people said rolling stone. Uh, two big competitors here. The correct answer is like a rolling stone. Rolling stone. Great job. Question number 14. A cob is a term used for the male of what animal? A cob is a male of what animal? Is it a fox, a whale, a swan, or a duck? It's not a panda. Hey, let's party. <laughs> Our Happy Meals, oh, red box. Used to come in red boxes. Yeah, now we're cheap. Are they cheap? No, but I just, they... red box. Red boxes. Oh. Christiane was on that. Uh, yo, I got a bottle of Camus Cab Barrel Select. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds delicious. A Cornish hen. Nice, John. Oh, my gosh. Uh, three people said a fox. Seven people said a whale. One person said a duck. Eleven people said a swan. That is the correct answer. A male swan is a cob. Now you know. T-I-L. Question 15. Which of the following songs is not on Michael Jackson's 1982 album Thriller? Which of these songs is not on Thriller? Is it Beat It, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, Wanna Be Starting Something, or P-Y-T? My favorite Michael Jackson song. P-Y-T? Yeah, I think so. Pretty Young Taco. Pretty Young Taco. Oh, that's Pierre doing. Melting into the pad. All right, everybody's in. Two people said P-Y-T. Four people said beat it. Five people said want to be starting something. Ten people said don't stop till you get enough. And that is not on Thriller. Great job. Almost half of you got that right. All right, one more multiple choice question. Here we go. This one's submitted by Stephanie. Uh, you can submit questions online if you'd like. Conplan 8888 is a real U.S. Department of Defense strategic command document that describes a plan for defending against what? This is a real document that exists. Conplan 8888 describes a plan for defending against what? Is it an atomic bomb? Meteors, UFOs, or zombies? Steph, this is a very new question. <laughs> Don't stop till you get no. <laughs> and this gift. One person said atomic bomb. Three people said meteors. Five people said UFOs. Twelve people correctly said zombies. Zombies. That's a cool question. It is a cool question. And that is our final multiple choice question. So what we're going to do right now is take a look at the standings. It's not taco. Uh, we'll see what's going on. And then we're going to switch things up to a different kind of question here in just one moment. Currently in first is Emma. A whole numero uno in second goes out with one of the Yankees in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We're going to get the next round here in just a moment. It's going to be different. It's going to be a picture round. And from this point on, you will no longer have multiple choice options. Uh, get those fingers ready to type because you have to type your answer in. 
for the rest of the game. I'll ask you a question. I will still give you a 25 second timer, but once that timer begins, rather than seeing four options appear on the screen, you're gonna see a text box that you have to type your answer into. Hit submit before time runs out. As long as you're right, you'll get the points. If you're wrong, you don't get any points, but you don't lose any points. So do make sure to take a guess if you're not sure. Tonight's picture round, um, sponsored by the fact that I've been watching a lot of Netflix, is Netflix shows. I'm going to show you just one screenshot from a Netflix original TV show, and you just have to tell me what show it is. That's it. Nothing too crazy about this. Uh, some of these might be tough. I'm looking for the name of the show. Um, so just give me the name of the show. Uh, some of them are pretty simple. Some of them are pretty tough. A lot of them are pretty new. So we'll do one at a time. Throw it up on the screen. Hit submit when you're done. Don't forget. Despite all this, <laughs> right? He's still just Pierre in a cage. By choice. Yeah, he went in there on his own. He, you know what? Pierre only ever like uh, gets mad when you're feeding him and you put. I have his bowl. He tries to bite it. Like he tries to bite the bowl out of my hand. He's mad when you pick him up and bring him somewhere he's not. That's true. But considering he can't walk up or down steps, he's got to go where we go. <laughs> uh <laughs> hey bobby k good to see you my friend all right here we go question number 17 what is the name the, the title of this netflix original show what show is this this is a fun round oh thank you hey bobby k you are still just yeah i'm singing it now bobby this is your fault Plants vs. Zombies? We never... We're not caught up on this show, are we? Mm-mm. We never finished the last season. No. Uh, this is not Rick and Morty. <laughs> Aliens with double Ds. Weird horny monster. Yeah. Uh, this is Big Mouth. Nick Kroll show. Big Mouth. And that's 83% of you, so that's a social. Cheers, everybody. Pour the rest of this in there. Great job! Question 18. What is the name of this Netflix original show? Yeah, I'll do it, Bobby. I got you. Whoa. Just started moving on its own, but it's because of the fan. It actually really scared me. All right, let's see here. A lot of you are close. Let me give you some points. Uh, the correct answer is the Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy. Uh, great job, 76% of you. Question number 19. Name this Netflix original show. There's going to be another season, right? Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's in. Oh, the third season will be the final season, they announced. Uh, this is... I watched it, I can't think. Uh, Dead to Me. Dead to me. Great job. 73% uh, of you. Pretty consistent here. Great job. Great job. Great job. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, one more. All right. Question number 20. Name this Netflix original show. Yeah, let's all get together and go see Bobby K. Let's do it. A quick reminder, if you have not yet, please fill out the form uh, to let us know whether or not you can attend the Bag of Tricks community party, uh, the first annual. Uh, it's going to be August 21st. It's going to be uh, in Woodridge, Illinois. Uh, so 
I just put that link back in there. Uh, this is just a preliminary form. No details needed other than if you'll be able to attend and how many people you project you'll be bringing with you so that we can plan accordingly with drinks and food. Um, and also, if, you, if you're thinking that you will be able to attend but you haven't filled out the form, do that because we won't be posting the event details publicly. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure I, I say that to all of you that are here with us tonight. I'm not going to be posting... Um, event details in the community at large or on our page it's it's going to go to a private group because we have to know how many people are coming because we're going to provide food and, and and you know some amount of drinks um so please do let us know even if you know that you're available we need to know that too um so do fill that out if you haven't yet i really appreciate it all right everybody's in and i think pretty much everybody got this keeps going up keeps going up yes this is the queen's gambit Queen's Gambit, great job. Uh, only one left. That's a social. Cheers. Question 21. Name this Netflix original show. I watched literally the first episode and no more. Did you watch this with me or no? The first episode? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's bad. Uh, now, that's my opinion. It was extremely popular. I think it got, it was renewed. I think they did more. Uh, but I was not a fan. This is not Tiger King. Uh, yeah, it is not quite Big Brother Netflix. This is The Circle. The Circle. You had to, it was a social, I don't know. I don't even know the concept. I couldn't even figure it out while I was watching. Uh, but five of you got it right. So great job. You got some points. That was definitely the toughest one. And you still made it through. So let's take a look at the standings. Let's see what has happened. Emma still in first. Goes out with one of the Yankees is in second. And it's over, Bananakin, in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We have one round left. We'll get to that here in just one moment. St. Charles on Wednesday. Smoke Daddy and Wrigley on Friday. Post more. Yeah, please do post events on Facebook, uh, Bobby. So I can share them and let people know where to go. When's the next time you're at Tannins? Because I think uh, just past Friday you were there, right? But I was busy. Um, but let me know the next time you're at Tannins. All right, final round, my friends. These questions are general knowledge, just like the first round. But unlike the first round, you will not have multiple choice options to choose from. You're going to have to type your answer in like we've been doing. So one at a time. Here we go. Question number 22. What does CC stand for in email terminology? If you're sending an email and you CC someone. What does CC stand for? <laughs> You've got mail. All right, everybody's in. We're tattling on you. Good guess. Uh, the correct answer is carbon copy. Carbon copy. Some of us have actually used carbon copy paper. When, yeah. I think it's still around. Anytime I get in, the only people that still use carbon copy paper, in my experience, are people that are charging me a lot of money to fix something at my house. Uh, yes. We get carbon copies of HVAC repair, roofing, fencing, all of that stuff. They got tons of carbon copy paper. Uh, never for fun. <laughs> Nothing fun happens on carbon copy paper. Let me put it that way. When I worked at Tannins, uh, Randomly, the credit card machine would go out, and we would have to do the old oh, happy credit card. Yeah. Machine. Now that was fun to slide the thing over. No, it was handwritten. Oh, you had to write it. Yeah. That sucks. No, you got to get the. <laughs> and it was carbon copy. It only take like but half the right, credit card. It's invoices and bills. Yeah. Oh, the dry cleaners. Yeah. Oh, dry cleaners. Yeah, yeah. Just as BCC stands for BCC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer a BCC. <laughs> Question 23. Which coffee-flavored dessert means pick me up in Italian? What coffee-flavored dessert means pick me up in Italian? Ooh, yum. Is 
This gif is me, like, every other day. Here you go. Plates, bottles, and all. Slap like now. Yeah, the spelling on this is going to yeah, be... Yeah, yeah, I was prepared. Don't worry about that. Uh, ooh, a good uh, espresso is a good guess. Espresso is a great guess. Um, but the That's correct answer good. is tiramisu. Tiramisu. Uh, I posted a video in the comments here. Uh, if you want to watch Davey504, how to make tiramisu. He's an Italian. He can tell you. I'm sure the video is annoying as heck. He'll just tell you to slap like now. Question 24. Starbucks! Speaking of pick-me-up, Starbucks takes its name... From a character in which book? The coffee chain was named after a character in which famous book? Let's teach mm, Janessa Italian. Cute. Tell her to get on Duolingo, Chris. A Duolingo. A Duolingo. All right, everybody's in. Correct answer. It's not Treasure Island. It's not the Odyssey. It is Moby Dick. Moby Dick, the first mate, Starbuck. Starbuck. All right, question 25. One more before we look at the standings. By what more common name would you know the mineral iron Pyrite as. Iron Pyrite, better known by what common name? Silencio Bruno. <laughs> Who's crying? Katniss? Yeah. Come here, you cats and kittens. Everybody's in. This is in a Mary Kate and Ashley movie. Mary Kate and Ashley Go West. How the West was fun. Oh my god. That was the first time I ever learned about Fool's Gold. Fool's Gold. That's Mr. Belding. That is Mr. Belding. Yes, it is. Uh, Fool's Gold is the correct answer. Uh, all right. Uh, that's question 25. Here are the standings. Currently in first, Emma. In second, it's over, Bananakin. Third, Steffi Star. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. Katniss. See the cam. Don't be surprised. Girl, you're a star. She doesn't know. She doesn't like that it says taco cam. Well, I didn't have a Katniss can prepared because she's never here. Oh. What'd you say? Yeah, you said Jameson's better. Oh. All right, here we go. Couple more questions. Let's get at it. Question 26. How many pieces does each player start with in a game of backgammon? How many pieces would you have at the start of a game of backgammon? Uh, Maggie, I gave you points. I saw your answer where you hit enter too fast. I still have to work more. Can't drink anymore. All right, everybody's in. <laughs> Somebody said no less than 12. Uh, yeah, uh, you're close. The correct answer is 15. 15. You're trying to roll those double sixes or figure out the math in your head how to get all your pieces to the other side. That's a fun game. I like backgammon. It's fun to say to backgammon. Mm -hmm. Question number 20 and 7. By what name is rapper and actor O'Shea Jackson better known? By what name would you know O'Shea Jackson? Crispy. You know what, Chris? In my head, I knew that it was you that put no less than 12, but I didn't want to put it out there and guess. Forgot. That's okay. 
<laughs> uh, Chris said he forgot the E, which actually works out because he put ice cub, which sounds cute. Like a little yeah. a little seal baby. Oh, a little ice that's cub. Uh, little ice polar bear. It is not uh, <laughs> a seal, though. It's ice cube. I gave you points. Don't worry. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly. His real name is like Elston or something. What's his name? Uh, I looked this up before. Colson. Colson Baker. Son of Cole. Son of Cole. Exactly. Son of Cole. Uh, Ice Cube is the correct answer. Ice T, a great guess. Another icy ice. Uh, two L's. Ladies love. Yeah, yeah. Cool yep. Ladies love James. All right. Uh, <laughs> great job, everybody. Question number 28. Which European capital is served by Ferenc Licht? At airport. Are you doing the proper accent? <laughs> no. Uh, what capital city are you flying into if you arrive at Ferenc Lynched Airport? Ice cub over pop smoke. <laughs> Good call, Tolkis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't let my horrible accent be any kind of clue. I was not trying to help here. Uh, this was tough. One of you got it. One person got it. Actually, two people got it. I'll get to that, too. Interesting spelling. One person said Budapest, which I like. It's Budapest. Budapest. Uh, it's not Vienna, Austria, Bern, Switzerland, Munich, Berlin, Prague, Moscow, Austria, Geneva, Berlin. No, Budapest is the correct answer. I've been to Epcot. Uh, all right. Question number 29. A Snellen chart is used to test the functioning of which human organ? What are you testing on the human body if you're using a Snellen chart? I'm going to go to Epcot. Me too. All right, everybody's in. <laughs> I, I like you're clearly testing for Snellen ability and poop shoot. <laughs> oh my God. The correct answer is your eyes. Eyes. Yeah. The Snellen chart is the, the letters on the, on the sign. Snellen chart. Uh, all right, two questions left. Uh, which mythological hero beheaded Medusa? Who cut off Medusa's head? Maggie, how does Addison feel about you going in January without her? I'm proud of you. I'm happy you're going. I just wonder how what her reaction was. Yeah, somebody said, thank you, Percy Jackson. Yes, yes, yes. Perseus mm. is the correct answer. This was not one of Hercules' deeds. This is not something that he did. Perseus did this. This gift makes me nauseous. Yeah. Well, they don't look like snakes here. They look like some kind of fried snack like that you would eat. They at the same time. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, that sounds right. She is livid. Addison's livid. Uh, yeah, I would be too. All right, one more question, my friends. Here we go. In 1960, what was the first country ever to elect a female prime minister? Gina asked me this question yesterday. I didn't get it right. In 1960, what was the first country ever to elect a female prime minister? I asked it off a trivia card. It wasn't just a. Oh, problem. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a trivia card hey, that she asked. Who do you think was the first? <laughs> Hey, babe, what are you thinking right now? Who I was just wondering first? who is the first prime minister that was a woman. I mean, that wouldn't even be that weird. <laughs> oh, they look like churros. They did look like churros. Yep, yep. Good call, Maggie, Christine. Uh, all right, everybody's in. Australica. India, England, Malaysia, Britain, Sri Lanka, Israel, Sweden... United Kingdom, the correct answer. 
Sri Lanka! Oh, Sri Lanka! Person. One person got it. Back in 1960, Sri Lanka. All right. Let's take a look, uh, a final look at these standings. Before we do, quick reminder, uh, we, we are not asking for any tips tonight for Bega Tricks. If you have anything that you're available to give, I would love if you guys could help out um, uh, Excuse me, Skeleton Key Brewing. Uh, they were unfortunately devastated by the tornado that hit last night. Many people were, but this is one way that we can help directly. There's a GoFundMe that's linked in the description of this video. I also posted it uh, in the chat way earlier on. Uh, so I will actually really quickly try to, f no, I can't find it. It's gone, it's gone forever. Uh, it's in the description of this video. Uh, so please do, if you're able, help them out. Uh, delicious beer, great people, more importantly. Uh, but with that said, thank you all for being here. Here are the final standings tonight. Don't forget, actually, I didn't mention this. Next week, we have two events on Monday. Uh, we'll be doing general knowledge trivia at 9 p.m., but uh, sponsored by the Elmhurst Public Library, we are doing, in honor of Pride Month, uh, the LGBTQ Trivia Night uh, on Monday at 7 p.m. It's going to be a lot of fun, so please do join us for that as well. So 7 and 9 p.m. next week. Uh, here are the final <laughs> standings tonight. Well, let me show you the final standings. That's your challenge. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, mom, are you disappointed? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to tell you next. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Here are the final standings. Jesus. Emma's in first. Good job, Ajo Numero Uno. In second. Ah, ooh, werewolves. That's a great finish in third place. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. Um... That is it for tonight. Uh, again, keep an eye out on the Bigatrix page for our in-person events. And as I've mentioned, we're going to do one additional event this week. I'm just not committing to either Wednesday or Saturday yet. One of those two nights, we'll do an event additional event. It's going to be on Luna Park. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you guys will be able to hear and see each other. You can hear me. We'll have some music trivia, and it's a whole new system. It's a lot of fun. I've hosted on it already. Um, so... Check that out, and please do join us when we test it out. I'll post that only in the community for you guys. So until then, be safe. Continue to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves, and we will see you soon for more trivia. Bye, everybody.